Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Fabio and in today's class we'll be improving our balance and strength. So without further ado, let's begin. Stand at the top of your mat and bring the hands in prayer position at the heart level. Take a moment to feel your foundation with particular attention to your feet, which are the beginning point of our balance. So take a moment, notice how you're standing right now. Align your spine, engage your thighs. And with your next breath, set an intention for today's class, which again is focused on bringing balance in our life. As you exhale, release your hands beside you and close your eyes. We'll be playing with the way we stand and challenging our balance. So if your eyes are closed, you can simply follow my voice and I will guide you when it's time to open them. Now spread your toes and on your next exhalation, lean backwards towards your heels. Now inhale and lean forwards towards your toes. And we repeat this movement a few times, so exhaling going backwards and inhaling going forward. And every time you want to try to make this movement a little bit bigger and bring in more awareness into the way you stand and where your true center is. Play with this movement for a couple more times, going at your own pace, going as slow or as fast as you'd like. And when you're ready, come back to your perfect alignment. Open your eyes and inhale to lift your arms all the way up to the sky. Come up on your toes, lifting the heels off the ground. Keep the core strong. Engage your muscles. And now exhale, release the pose, bend your knees. And inhale, bounce back up. Becoming aware of what muscles are engaging the most. Hold the pose here, lengthen, exhale, release, bend your knees. And again, bounce back up. Inhale deeply. Try to find more and more length every time you repeat this one. Exhale, release. And inhale to come back up. Strong in your core, strong in your legs. Arms are fully extended. Look forward and hold it for two more deep breaths. Beautiful. Exhale, release the pose. And inhale to come back to your alignment. Now bring the hands on the hips. And make some circles with your left foot, keeping the toes on the ground. So we just peel the heel off the floor. Reverse the circle whenever you're ready and go as fast or as slow as you'd like. Repeat the same movement to the other side, really warming up the ankles. And noticing if there's any difference between one side and the other. Now come back to center, both feet on the ground. Inhale, bend your knees and reach your arms up, straightening the legs. Again, lift your heels off the ground and hold it here, nice and strong in your core. Exhale, open your arms in cactus position, release the heels on the ground. Peel the left foot off the ground, keep the knees slightly bent and make a huge circle going all the way towards the back. Eventually overcross your legs and bring the left knee on the back of the right knee, bend the legs a lot, really challenging and exploring the balance and then come back where you came from. Now we'll be crossing the legs in this other direction, so bring the left knee right on top of the right, bend the knees a lot, just for a quick moment, and then release. Right away we'll be bringing the knee up towards the chest, really focus on the way our body is working to keep the balance. Now release the foot to the ground, bring the hands on the hips and extend the left leg straight in front of you, foot flex, bounce the leg up for 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, hold it here, just for a quick moment. Exhale, release the foot to the ground and repeat all this to the other side. Let's release the hands, take a deep inhalation to lift all the way up, peel the heels off the mat and hold it there, nice and strong in your core. Really feel your body working. Exhale, open the arms in cactus position, release the heels on the ground and peel the right foot off the floor, knees lightly bent We'll be making the big circle to go all the way back and stacking the knees one behind the other. Bend the legs a lot, challenge yourself and inhale, come back towards the front. The slower you go, the more control you will need. When you're at the front, overcross your knees, bend the legs, challenge yourself. Take a quick breath in and release. Knee up towards the chest right away, holding it with your arms keeping the supporting leg nice and strong, and now release. Come back with your hands on your hips, extend the right leg straight in front of you, and bounce for five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it there. Nice and strong, extending it as best as you can, 
and release all the way down to the floor. On your next inhalation, lift your arms up, push your hips forward and arch your back will be giving a nice stretch to the core. Exhale, fold forward in Uttanasana and relax here. Bend your knees a lot and slowly straighten the legs as best as you can. Exhale, bend your knees a lot. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, repeat it one more time and straighten, really activating the quads. Exhale for the last one. Now hold on to your heels, bring your chest and abdomen against your thighs and try to straighten your knees one inch at a time, keeping that connection. Inhale, look forward and come into chair pose Utkatasana. Inhale now, come all the way up to standing, push the hips forward and arch your back, stretching the core. Exhale, release your arms beside you. Lift the left knee up towards your chest and hug it tight. Your gaze is forward at a still point right in front of you. Flex your foot and now open the knee out and bring the right hand on your hip. Activate the glutes to keep external rotation in your leg and then bring the foot into three pose. So bring it up towards your pubic bone, keep the knee open and bring the hands at your heart. Go back to your intention if you need to. Take a deep breath in. Feel the energy and balance filling your body. And now as you exhale, step back into warrior one. Lift your arms overhead, look in between your hands and try to keep the back foot fully grounded. Now extend the front knee, bring the hands on your low back, inhale, open the chest, lean slightly backwards, really arching the back here. Both legs are super strong, super active. Come back to center, release your arms and lift them up overhead. Take a deep breath in and fold forward with both legs still extended. You want to try to bring the forehead close to your knee or shin. Relax here, relax your neck. Find your stillness. And when you're ready, inhale, look forward and come back up. Lift your arms overhead once again and open into warrior two. Hips and shoulders towards the long side of your mat. Arms fully extended. Front knee bend 90 degree. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Lift the right arm all the way up to the sky and look up. Both legs are super strong again. Maybe you will be able to reach towards the back of the mat. Now exhale, tilting forward for triangle pose without changing the position of your legs, without changing your foundation. And if you're able to, if your neck doesn't bother you, look up towards your left hand. Hold it here for a moment. Really opening the chest. Bend the front knee and bring both hands on the floor. Peel the back heel off the mat, inhale and find length in your body, in your spine. Come up on your fingertips to test your foundation and if everything looks good then inhale to come up in high lunge position, arms reaching up towards the sky. Now stay strong in your legs and keep a nice deep bend in the front knee. Bring the hands in prayer position at the heart level and lean forward for warrior three, staying nice and strong in your supporting leg. You want to keep the left leg in line with the rest of the body, right leg very strong and extended, and your hips squared. Now with control, we're going to come back up to a standing position, brush the left foot on the floor, and extend the left leg right in front of you, arms reaching up and opening out to the side. We'll be taking eagle pose so you can overcross your knees, bring the right arm on top of the left, and wrap them trying to bring the palms together or as close as possible. Now release the pose with control, inhale, lift the knee up towards the chest for a quick moment and exhale, release everything to a standing pose. Again, inhale, lift the arms up, arch the back, push the hips forward, stay strong in your legs and take a nice exhalation as you dive forward into Uttanasana. Bend the knees a lot, connect the chest and belly to your thighs and straighten the legs. Again, exhale, bend. Inhale to straighten. Every time trying to go a little deeper, exhale to bend. Inhale to straighten. Relaxing here for a moment. Now bend the legs a lot, find a chair pose and hold it. Really strong in your legs, thighs together, heels together. 
Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Lengthen towards the sky. Exhale, release your arms. Bring the right knee up towards the chest. Stay strong in your foundation and look forward. Now with control, open the knee out, holding it only with your right hand and bring the left hand on your hip. Staying strong in your foundation, meet me in three pose, bringing the foot on the inside of your thigh and bring the hands in prayer position at your heart. Keep your balance and your intention as you release the foot coming into warrior one. Lift your arms towards the sky and look up towards your hands. The front knee is striking on top of your toes and the back foot is fully grounded. Now straighten the front leg, release your hands and bring them on your low back. Inhale, arch and lift the heart towards the sky without dropping the head. Stay strong in your foundation. Legs are fully extended here. Exhale, release the hands, lift them up overhead and exhale to fold forward. You want to lower the head towards your shin or knee. Keep the hips towards the front of the mat as best as you can. Now inhale, find even more length. Come all the way up, reach your arms up and then open into warrior two. Once again, hips and shoulders are facing the long side of the mat. We're looking forward. Now inhale, straighten the front leg and reach up with your left arm. Eventually, you'll be able to reach all the way towards the back of the mat. Tilt forward on your next exhalation for triangle pose, keeping the chest open, arms fully extended and maybe looking up. The leg position doesn't change. Now exhale, bend the front leg and bring both hands on the floor. High lunge position, keeping length in the spine, strong in your foundation, reaching the arms up. Feel your legs active, your foundation strong, and take a deep breath in, really opening the shoulders. Now when you're ready, you can bring the hands on your hips or at the heart center and step forward for warrior three. Try to bring the right leg in line with the rest of the body and stay strong in your left leg. Now come back to standing, brushing the right foot on the mat, extend the leg in front of you and then prepare for eagle pose on this side. So we're gonna overcross the knees and wrap the left arm on top of the right, trying to join the palms together. Now release the pose, lift the arms up, inhale, push the hips forward and arch your back. Exhale to fold forward. Open the feet hip distance apart to get more ease in this forward fold and uh, rock your head forward and back or side to side just to release the neck. Hold on to your heels, bend the legs and roll the spine up one vertebra at a time to come to standing. Once you get there, you can slowly bring your feet back together in Samastiti hip. Take one last deep breath in to lift the arms all the way up, lengthen the spine and exhale, lower the hands at your heart in prayer position. Welcoming in the body and the mind, balance and strength. This is the end of today's practice. I want to thank you so much for joining me for this one. I will see you in the next video. Namaste.